Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back. If you're not, I'm so glad you're here. So let's jump into today's video. In today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, we are trying different freeze dried candy. I was out shopping with my aunt a couple weeks ago and I've been thinking about doing this video for a while and there was a freeze dried candy like section set up and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy some. We're gonna do this. We're gonna be rating every single thing, but we're also going to be comparing it to the original. So some things that I really want to focus on is if it changed the taste, because obviously it's gonna like drastically change the texture, but I wanna know if it changed the taste, did it like decrease it or enhance it? And then also I really wanted two people for this video to get like different opinions, which is why Oren's here. Let's start out with something easy. I've had the not sour version of this before. Let's start out with sour Skittles. So I have just normal sour Skittles here. And this is what the freeze dried Skittles look like. They puff up on the inside, but the candy coating doesn't like puff at all. Sour mm. Skittles are, I, w I think they're more sour than like almost sour patch kids what do you think that you would rate the normal skittles eight or nine honestly i would say the same thing i'd probably say like an 8.5 i would recommend doing one at a time let me do three okay this is here let me <laughs> that is bizarre this is what they look like they're like they look like little sandwiches oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> i'm dead serious they do make the eating experience so much faster. I figured that it would take away some of the sour, and I don't think that it did at all. What do you think flavor-wise? Do you think that they're very, like, similar? Mm, I don't think so. Really? Texture's a big deal to me, though. You are a texture guy. I feel like these ones, since these ones take longer to chew, you get a longer-lasting flavor. Okay, that makes sense. Mm, I think I'm going to give these an 8. So mm. only 0.5 smaller than those. Just because the flavor is a little bit less, but it's still really, really good. How do you rate those? The freeze dried ones. No, one less than the Skittles. Let's move on to the next item, which Orin and I are big fans of anyways. The next stack is Nerds Gummy Clusters. These puffed up a ton. If you guys can see that in the container, they puffed up a ton and it's almost like the Nerds just completely disappeared. Mm. I love these. I'm so curious to see what those are like because I feel like the chewiness of this is what really makes the snack. This is the comparison in sizes. So as you can tell, it's puffed up a ton. Why are you looking at the camera like mm. that? <laughs> mm. Whoa. And they're pretty airy. They're very airy. They get stuck in your teeth. They do. I was going to say that. They get stuck in your teeth a lot more than the normal ones get stuck in your teeth. And I think that the flavor intensity of the inside part is much stronger. The main like prevalent taste in this is that inside bit. I would rate the regular Nerds Gummy Clusters a 9 out of 10. 7. 6. I think I agree that I would give these a 6. I gave these a 9, but I think that I would give these a 6. They just get so stuck in your teeth. Let's try the next thing. This is our third item. I'm also super intrigued to try this. I've never had the original one of this. The next thing we are going to try are the Werther's Pumpkin Spice Caramels, which I have never had, but this is what they look like when they are freeze dried. Obviously, they've just puffed up a ton. I do personally love a good caramel, and I also love pumpkin spice. There were a ton of other options at the place, but Oren loves pumpkin spice, so I wanted to get these. Hmm. 6.5. It's a 10. Really? Easy. I think a 6.5, just because they take so long to chew, and it gets stuck in your teeth. Let's try the freeze-dried version now. They definitely smell like a pumpkin spice chai, though. Pumpkin spice coffee. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 Those are good. The pumpkin spice flavor comes 
through so much more in the freeze dried, I think. And it does not get stuck in your teeth. I rated these as 6.5, and I'm gonna give the freeze dried ones a nine. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm going back to nine. Going down to a nine for this. I'm going up to a 10. Yeah, I would rate those a nine. I think that these are significantly better than the originals. This next one is the one that I think I've been the most excited to try, like because of the texture. These are freeze dried fruit roll ups. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Fruit roll ups are delicious. I'm going to give them, honestly, an 8.5 as well. This is gonna make a mess, but we're gonna split this. No! Here you go. This is very similar. I think this is stronger. It's like a chip. It's just so weird. Like, it feels like you're eating a potato chip. The original's better. Yeah, I think that I agree. You can't do fun little close. tattoos with these. They taste the pretty close. I think this one's stronger. I honestly think that you might be right. I think that I'm going to rate the freeze-dried probably a six. I don't know. I was like both sevens. This next thing, Oren and I went to three stores last night to try to find. So, Also, he's never had these, so I'm so excited for you to try the original. Yeah. These are the Gummy Sharks. And then here's what they look like freeze dried. I'm not exactly sure what this red ball is in here. I think it might be a Jolly Rancher. These aren't the ones that I used to have. The ones I used to have are a little bit better than these, but very like tough gummy texture. It's a four. I mean, I wouldn't go that low. I would go to a seven though. That looks so cute. Look at that. It's It kept its shape. That one's so cute. I don't like that. It tastes like a cola bottle. Yeah, it tastes like Coca-Cola. The flavor's nowhere near the same. Mm -mm. This one has way more flavor. It does. Like this it. one has way more flavor, but I don't like the flavor. It's extremely crunchy. This one does also get stuck in your teeth a little bit. Honestly, I think I'm gonna switch with you and give the freeze-dried ones a four. They taste oh. like Coca-Cola for some reason, and I don't know why. The last thing I'm excited for and a little scared for, the next thing that we are going to try freeze dried are oatmeal cream cookies. I don't know how this is going to go. I, I love these normally. Normally, mm. they're a 10. I mean, it's not something I'd bring to a movie theater though. I am so intrigued by this. The cookie kept the its shape. Did not. So I'm expecting the cookie just to be like a little harder. Okay, ready? I think it tastes a little more like gingerbread when it's mm. hard like this. Those are still really good. I think that if you like crunchy cookies better than you like soft cookies, those would be perfect for you. They taste the same. I do think the cream lost a little bit of its flavor. The cream's a little odd, just the texture of it, obviously, but I don't know. I mean, I think it's good. I gave the original a 10. I would probably give these like a Seven? What? No, I would tie them with whatever I thought they were. I like soft cookies better than I like crunchy cookies, which is the only reason I am putting it down that far, but I think it's still like delicious. Oh man. Those are all the snacks that we have to try. Overall, I think that I like the originals just a little bit better. Like I feel like it's more of an experience to eat the other things and honestly they taste very similar except for these. These were significantly better than the originals. I definitely will say that. Comment down below what you think you would be most excited to try out of these six items. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on my next one.